sure how it is. Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to Two Time Murphy YouTube channel. I'm your host, Gibbo Ireland. Well, you've caught me here doing chores, as you can see, and I'd much rather be flying. I should be done in a few minutes, but I really just want to jump straight into the sim as soon as I'm finished. Now, I'm just thinking, how can I do that? Keep this going, get the sim up and running, uh, and be ready to go as soon as I'm done with this. Now, I'm just thinking, I do have an Amazon Echo device in the shed. Hmm, that got me thinking. Check this out. Alexa, it's time to fly. Okay. Well, look, I mean, who am I kidding? I'm being lazy here, okay? I, I admit it, I, I work hard to be lazy and save myself some mouse clicks. Isn't that what automation is all about? <laughs> so yes, folks, this video is about automation and connecting your computer to your favorite smart home device, such as Amazon Echo or Google Assistant to do things. Here is a different view repeating what it did on my various screens, which was to open up all my sim applications that I use and have it ready to go. Oh, and just quickly before I go any further, this will be a smart home safe video, so I won't be saying this word anymore so that it doesn't trigger anything at home for you and drive you absolutely crazy. I've been there. <laughs> okay, Gibbo, why might I use this? Well, maybe after a long day at work, you're on your commute home and you just want to come in the door and go flying. You could run this via Google or Amazon's app on your phone so that it's ready to go when you get in. Or maybe you're at a crucial stage of flight and you're concentrating hard, but you need something else open. You need SimBrief or landing rate monitor or Navigraph to open. Wouldn't it be a bit more convenient to use your voice to open up those things rather than take your attention away from what you're doing? Or maybe even the opposite. You jumped into bed after a long day flying and you weren't sure if you turned off everything. Well, a simple voice command solves all of these needs. Okay, so enough rambling from me. What is it and how does it work? Let's jump in. The middleman that connects your PC to your home automation is a service called Trigger CMD, allowing you to run commands remotely and securely on your computer. And it's not just Amazon Echoes that this works with, which I'll be using in this video, but also Ift, Google, SmartThings, and Zapier. On the computer side, there's a small downloadable that runs in the background, a little client available for Windows, Linux, and Mac. Oh, before we leave this website, click on login at the top to create an account. I'll sign in here using my Google credentials. Taking a look at each option quickly in the taskbar icon, options here are to visit the Trigger CMD website, update the agent, and the main one which we'll be using is GUI Command Editor, and we'll open that up here. Anything we do have here in this window will be updated in the website that's still open behind it. Okay, so running through the app itself, you can see a list of commands here. I've been doing my testing. Add command is what we'll be using to create new commands. And we'll come back to that in a second. Browse examples are inbuilt examples of just some of the things you can do with the necessary script to run them, which is very handy. This gives you a good idea as to the variety of things you can do here, from cleanup operations, to backing up, to changing your volume, to locking your PC, all good stuff. And if that wasn't enough, if you visit the Trigger CMD forums, there seems to be a vibrant community there that shared their particular use cases and ways of doing things, which really opens this up even more. So that's the tool. Let's look through the website. Here we have two sections on the left-hand side, computer management and panel management. 
Under Computer Management, your computers show you which computers have the client installed. You can click on View Triggers, which will show you all the commands that you've set up in the client tool. And you've got options here to run the trigger, see how many times it's run, or even bookmark it, which is very handy. Other users' computers, instructions, covers essentially what I'm going through here in this video. And here is where it mentions a subscription service of $20 per year. Without the subscription, you can only have one computer and send one trigger per minute. Hmm. Voice commands are the verbal commands if you are using more than one computer, but smart home voice commands is what we want, where it very handily tells us the commands we can use for each of the triggers set up. You can choose Amazon or Google Assistant. The panels area is something we don't have to use as part of this setup. Okay, so let's get into actually making commands and getting it to do automations for us. If you have even any basic knowledge of command lines and running things from a command line, this will be a piece of cake for you. For each command, I have three options. I can delete it, edit it, or run it. So we'll start off nice and simple with calculator. Clicking on edit, trigger is the name I'm calling this. It can be anything at all. Command is the command that I want Windows to run. Off command is if you want to have this as an on and off toggle. You can have it run in the foreground or background. Voice is the verbal command you want to say to run it. Voice reply is an optional field of what you might want your smart home device to say in return. And parameters we won't be using much here. So hopefully by now you're getting a good sense for how this works. So let's see it run. And actually that's the best tip that I can give you here. Check first that all works well right here before you introduce your smart home platform to this service. Each time you make a change here, the device will be rediscovered on the smart home side. So it really is worth you know, taking the time to test things out and that they're working well here. Okay, so now how about we use a command to close the calculator so that I can automate that as well as if I wish. I'll click on add command. For trigger, I'll just call it close calculator. The command to use is this. Oh, and that brings me to another tip. If you're ever unsure as to the name of the app that, you're, that you need to enter in here, what you can do is once it's open, go into your task manager and find it. And you can see there exactly what it's called. In Windows 11, for example, the calculator app is called calculatorapp.exe rather than calc as it was in previous versions. Foreground is fine. And the voice command I'll just use is close calculator. And in my reply, my echo should say closing calculator. Okay, so that's how you set up a command. Let's run it. Nice. Now, that was very basic, but the idea is the same for all apps. Let me show you briefly FSUIPC. It's exactly the same method as it was for calculator, but I just need to find the path to the exe. Just to show here that it's not running in the task manager. Now, when I click on run trigger, there it opens. And as before, we can use another trigger to close it. And there it's gone from task manager. Now I won't go through each of these, but just to share an easy method of finding the correct location for the command field. So in this case with Coatl for GSX, if I find the app in my start menu and go to its properties, from there I can get the path and even any syntax that might be needed to open it. And I can pop that into the command field. 
Oh, and another tip is, after lots of testing, to get the sim to open, it's simply flightsimulator.exe in the command field. Nothing more is needed. That one took me way too long to figure out. <laughs> okay, so rather than just opening apps, you can even get it to open files like this one. And this is a great segue to the final thing to show you here. What if I want to run all of these applications listed here at once, rather than just app by app as we've been doing so far? Well, there are two methods. The first of which is to create a routine via your smart home platform that will run one after the other, which does work. Or the second option, which I've decided to use, is to use batch files. Now to save you from creating batch files, your own ones from scratch, what I'll do is I'll zip all of the batch files shown in this video and I'll make them available via the description box below so that you can quickly use them to make a version for your machine. I've created a trigger called open all my sim stuff that runs this batch file. The voice command to run this batch file is it's time to fly just like it was at my shed at the start. So let's take a look at the batch file itself. Hopefully you're still with me. We're nearly there folks, I promise. Batch file here, it's pretty straightforward. We just start commands for each exe, such as LRM, Navigraph and others I wanted to open. Uh, and that's it. Let's test it and make sure it opens all my apps. Nice. And I'll move this over from another screen so you can see it open too. But there you go. And there's Simbrief open too. Of course, I could run another batch file to close all of these apps too in exactly the same way as I just showed you, which is with the correct commands in a batch file. And the voice command here would just be exit the sim. I'll very quickly show you that batch file. Remember, I'll share all of this, this if it's of any help at all to you. Here you can see it has all the exes listed. Now let's run it to close everything. And there we go. Everything closed with just one click, which is soon to be just one voice command. Now that's how everything get works on the PC side and everything fully set up there. The final step is to connect up your smart home platform, which for me is Amazon, which we'll do next. Open up the Amazon You Know Who app, <laughs> tap the more button in the bottom right, then skills and games. The skill that we want to search for here is Trigger CMD. There's a few listed here, so we'll choose the one called Smart Home. Tap Enable to Use and enter your credentials that you used on the website. For me, it was my Google credentials. And then you approve it. Now it's successfully linked. And it'll do a discovery from where it's found 14 devices in my case. Of course, these aren't actual devices. Instead, they're the 14 triggers and commands that I set up. Go ahead and just choose to set up each one. There's no other options involved to worry about here. All your devices are set up. Yay. Now, before we do our final test, just another tip to help you out. Looking at the commands on the website, the commands that we can say, you can see from my batch file, the one that will open up all my sim apps, the command is turn on, it's time to fly, which is fine, but I prefer for it to be just it's time to fly. 
To do that, jump back to your Amazon You Know Who app <laughs> and we'll create a routine. Routine name can be anything at all. When this happens, I'll choose voice. Then the phrase I want to use, well, it's time to fly, I've already set up, so I'll put in, it's time for flying. And then under add action, I'll tap customized and the phrase that I want to avoid saying. So basically this routine links one simple phrase to another less simple phrase, if you like. <laughs> tap next and save. And we are now fully done. Let's test it all out. Okay, so you join me at this angle just so you can see that I'm not touching anything and that it's all verbally controlled. So let's give it a go. We'll start with something easy, just one app, just to see that in action. So here goes. Um, my echo is right behind me, but that's okay. Turn on calculator. Okay. Nice, nice. Ooh, now you gotta. I don't know that one. Okay, thanks very much. Um, now, you got to remember that I can't run another command within a minute because I haven't subscribed. It's $20 a year. It's not so bad. So I really must so I can do these a lot more quicker. But I will need to wait a minute in order to be able to run another command. So we'll wait a minute and I think we'll go full hog. We'll actually run the batch file, which runs all of the nine apps that I wanted as part of my sim setup. So we'll wait a minute and then we'll do that. Okay, it's literally been a minute, so I think we'll uh, we'll try this, okay? So do you remember how I set it up as a routine just to make it a little easier to talk to her? Um, and the command is this. Um, it's time to fly. Okay. Oh yeah. And there we go, everything up and running. Nice. And folks, that's it. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you might give the thumbs button a like and even consider subscribing. Don't forget, Two Tone Murphy himself streams Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 1900 Zulu live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Two Tone Murphy. And until the next time, thanks again for watching and take care.